بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن عدة الشهور عند الله 12 شهرا في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة حرم Indeed, the count of the months near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 12 months in the book of Allah, the day when he created the skies and the earth. Minha arba'atun hurum. Among them four are sacred months. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is declaring that four months in the year are sacred months. In which months are those months? ذو القعدة ذو الحجة محرم and رجب These are the four months which are declared as sacred months by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the days, all the months, all the times are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But By special mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specified some days which are special for the sending of mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people. One of those months is the month of Muharram, which the Holy Quran is declaring as sacred month. Especially, the tenth day of Muharram, which is known as Ashura, is a special day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends His blessings and mercy to the people. When fasting in the month of Ramadan was not first upon the Muslims, then fasting on day of Ashura was first. It was necessary to fast on the day of Ashura, the tenth day of Muharram, in those days. Then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made fasting in the day of, in the month of Ramadan, first, then the obligation of fasting on Ashura was cancelled. But, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam still kept fasting on the day of Ashura. That's why it is the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to fast on the day of Ashura. There is a hadith where the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I hope from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that fasting on the day of Ashura will expiate the sins of the preceding year. That's why the day of Ashura is a sacred day in Islam. And what's the reason that the day of Ashura is a sacred day? There are some misunderstandings among the people about this. Some people think that fasting on the day of Ashura and the sanctity of the day of Ashura, it is because the great Sahabi Hussein radiallahu an, who is the grandson of Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was martyred on this day. But it is not right because the day of Ashura was sacred right from the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would keep, keep fast on this day. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned some commandments about this day. Also the Holy Quran declared about the month of Muharram. And the Mirtaidam of Hussein radiallahu anhu it took place 60 years after the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why it is not right 
that the sanctity of Muharram or the sanctity of the day of Ashura is because of the martyrdom of Imam Hussein radiallahu anhu. Then what's the reason? Why is the day of Ashura so important? The answer is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. Why did he prefer this day upon the other days? Some people think that the day of Ashura is special because the Holy Prophet Adam alayhi salam he came to the earth on the day of Ashura. When he met Hawa radiallahu anha it was the day of Ashura. When Nuh alayhi salam and his people they were saved from the flood it was the day of Ashura. When Ibrahim alayhi salam was put into the fire and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the fire cool it was the day of Ashura. When Yunus alayhi salam is saved from the fish that was the day of Ashura. When the Qiyamah will be established when the day of resurrection will come it will be the day of Ashura. But there is no reliable base for all these things. There is no Sahih narration which mentions that all these even took place on the day of Ashura. And the sanctity of the day of Ashura is because of these events. Yes, there is one narration which mentions about Musa alayhi salam and the people of Bani Israel. That narration says that Musa alayhi salam when he was commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save the people of Bani Israel and the people of Bani Israel they were going to a different place and when Musa alayhi salam and his people they reached the bank of the river and at that time Pharaoh and his forces they came from the back that time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Musa alayhi salam to strike his stick on the water. As a result, the river gave way to the people of Bani Israel. It split open, it gave way to the people of Bani Israel. Musa alayhi salam and the people of Bani Israel, they crossed the river through that way. But when Pharaoh and his forces, they wanted to cross the river through that way. The water came and Pharaoh and his people, all of them were drowned. This even took place on the day of Ashura, the 10th day of Muharram. And there is a narration which is somewhat good, which is mentioning this event. The other events which are mentioned about the day of Ashura, there is no reliable base for that. So only one event is found in a reliable hadith, which is somewhat reliable, somewhat good. So we should not go deep into the research of finding the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preferred the day of Ashura on other days. It is the ultimate wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he chooses some days for sending his special mercies and blessings to the people. Then what are we supposed to do? What we are supposed to do is to act upon the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do the things which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recommended to do in these special days especially on the day of Muharram. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose a day for sending special mercy to the people, definitely that day is special. But what should we do on that day? We should use it according to the way of Sunnah. 
according to the teachings of the Holy Quran. And the only Sunnah which is proved from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on this day that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would fast on the 10th day of Muharram. And there is a hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said fasting on the day of Ashura will expiate the sins of past year. So it is proven from the action and from the saying of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we should fast on this day. Another question. Should we fast one day or two days? Did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fast one day or two days? The answer is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fast only one day the day of Ashura throughout his life. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't fast on 9th or 11th. Question. Then why it is being said that we should fast two days, 9th and 10th or 10th and 11th? The reason is when it was the last year of the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he fasted on the day of Ashura and he said, on the day of Ashura, we the Muslims are fasting and the Jews are also fasting on the day of Ashura. I wish that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me life till next year, then I will be fasting two days, the day of Ashura plus one day before it or one day after it. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned his desire that he will be fasting next year two days if he is alive. That's why the Sahaba ridwanullahi alayhim ajma'een They started fasting two days from next year. Although Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't do it, but he expressed his desire before the Sahaba, and the Sahaba karam idhanullahi alayhim ajma'een, they started doing it. And what is the reason the, G the Jews were fasting on the day of Ashura? The story which I mentioned before. That the people of Bani Israel, they were saved from Fir'aun on the day of Ashura. That's why, to give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Jews people, they started fasting on this day. Another question. What happens if someone fasts only on the day of Ashura? He doesn't fast on ninth or 11th. He is fasting only on the day of Ashura. The answer is, it is not recommended, it is makru, because it is against the desire of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But if someone kept fast only on the day of Ashura, he will not be sinful, and he will be given the reward of fasting on the day of Ashura. But because it was the desire of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to start fasting two days if he lives for the next year. That's why to fast two days Ashura plus one day before or one day after it is much better and it is highly recommended. Another question. What other things should we do on the day of Ashura? Some people think that cooking sweet things on the day of Ashura, it is preferred. Some people think that distributing a lot of 
food among the people it is better but there is no sahih narration which mentions these things yes there is a hadith which comes with a weak chain the chain is weak but the hadith says that the person who gives more and more to his family on the day of ashura and to the servants and the workers working with him he gives to them better food and more food on this day allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give blessings in his risk this hadith although the chain is weak but if someone wants to act upon this hadith it is hope we hope from the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give reward so we can act upon this hadith number 3 take special care of avoiding sins in the month of muharram in the other sacred months we should avoid sins in all days but in these months we should take special care because in the holy quran when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning about the sacred months allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying fala tazlimu fihinna anfusakum don't do wrong to yourselves in these days the third thing which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions specially about the sacred months that is avoiding the sins to summarize we can say that the 10th day of ashura it is a special day chosen by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send his blessings to the people and the things which we are supposed to do in these days number 1 fasting on the day of ashura plus fasting one day before it or one day after it so fasting two days it is the sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam number 2 giving more to your family to your children to your wives to your workers to your servants giving them more food and better food better than the other days although this hadith the chain is weak but if someone acts upon this hadith allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give reward these are two things which are special with the 10th day of muharram in the third thing which is about the whole month of muharram in the other sacred months as well that is taking special care to avoid sins in these months may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to act upon the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to the way of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin